What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to add a player model to your Gorilla Tag fan game. <clears throat> so the first thing that you want to do is go to the link in the description and it should bring you to this page with all this code stuff here. What you want to do is just copy it real quick. Just copy all of it. Control C. Go to my Unity. And then right click right here. Go create a create C sharp script. So now you want to name this Fast IK Fabric. Like spell like this on the screen. Fast IK Click on it, click open. All of this code code stuff should pop up. Just just delete that and then copy in all the other code that you just copied. File, save, then exit out of that. And then since it is a lot of code, it will start loading for a bit, but yeah. So now after you've done that, now what you want to do is go to uh, your assets, assets right here, resources, photon VR, and player. You will have to follow my photon VR tutorial to do this or somebody else's photon VR. You just have to have photon VR for this. So now, what you want to do is get a player model. So I have this player model that I got off of Sketchfab. You can make yours or get a different one off of Sketchfab or something like that. But yeah, I'm just going to use this one. And if you don't know how to import a model from Sketchfab into Unity, uh, just I guess just look up a tutorial for that because I will not be showing you how to do that in this video. So I just downloaded this model. And so what you wanna do is uh, go to it. Here it is right here. I'm gonna drag it into my scene. Yay, there it is. So now obviously, oh, this thing is huge. So I'm just gonna resize it to my player. So yeah, just resize your model to exactly your player. And then put the head inside the player head. That's. The obvious, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, so this is probably good. And so now, what you want to do is uh, click on all these like body parts for the uh, uh, player, for the other player, and then you can either delete them or turn off the mesh render. I just like to turn off the mesh render, so they're still there. It's just not there. So now on your rig, you have or your player, you have to have a uh, you have to have a uh, it, it has to be rigged. So there has to be like bones in it. So right here, I'm gonna name this oops, player. So now it's player, and as you can see, when I open it, there's a bunch of bones, and yeah, so. What you'll want to do first is when you click on all these bones, it'll go to, uh, what's it called? Different places on the body, like here, here. Uh, what you want to do is find the, uh, what's it, the right and left shoulder bone, as I have right here, and name the uh, left one. I'll call this shoulder L and this one shoulder R. So now uh, on both of these shoulders, or on one of them, uh, you just you want to make the uh, face out like in a T pose, like that, and then do that for both of the. Oops. Arms, like that. 
as you can see, my monkey is T-posing, kind of. And then we want to open up more of the things in here, probably open up shoulder L and shoulder R twice, I think. You, and you just want to find the wrist. Uh, so, oh gosh. So I found the wrist right here, as you can see. Yep, there's the wrist. And so on this one, this is the the left wrist. So I'll call this wrist L. And then find the right wrist. Call that wrist R. So now on a wrist R and wrist L, you want to uh, add component, make it the fast IK fabric. And so now that that's on there, you want to click on one of them. I'm going to do wrist wrist L, yeah, the wrist L first, and where it says target, uh, you want to make that. Let's see where it's right. Here it says uh, left hand, since it's wrist L, I'll make it the left hand, and then pull, make it shoulder L. And then same thing with the right hand, oops, the right hand, target, wait, that's the left hand. Target, uh, right hand, and pull to shoulder R. And then uh, drag your player into he into uh, head. Both your wrists, oops. And so first I'll go to wrist R and then make it and then turn it up and then that way, like that. So it's like curving in and then do that for the other wrist or yeah as well wrist l i'll make it go up then go in and then that's it so now you'll click file what the heck file save then i'll click play there he is so as you can see he's floating a little bit and that's because i uh, with the uh that that would mean your player model now it doesn't match up with the other player model and so you might want to mess around with that a little bit i don't really care if it floats yeah <laughs> so now as you can see if i click my right or left hand controller it works good i mean yeah Hold on, let me just test something. And then the right hand works just as fine. So, yeah, that's how to uh, add a player model to your Gorilla Tag thing game. Yo, wait, what? Hold on. And there he goes. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. That is it. Goodbye.